all about my piercings and this was kind of a requested video. I don't really know why. You guys just like to know like random things about me. So I'm just going to tell you like my experience getting different ones, um, my pain level, it's different for everybody, and just like how I took care of it and that type of stuff. So let's just get started I guess. So the first piercings that I ever got were my lobe piercings. So I have two lobe piercings, a cartilage piercing, and a belly button piercing. So I have six piercings in all. And it's not like a crazy amount. And just a quick disclaimer that if you don't like piercings, you don't have to watch this video. I'm not saying that you have to have piercings or you need to get them, but this is for some people who want to know my experience or like if they want to get them. So I have two lobe piercings. Um, the first one that I ever got was my first lobe piercing. Um, I got it done at Claire's and it was probably in elementary or middle school. I got it pierced and everything was fine for a while and then I noticed that like I had these like hard lumps like in my ears and it was right where the piercings were so I got they got infected basically and it wasn't like I wasn't cleaning them or anything I guess it just reacted badly um, so those ended up I had to take them out and I um, they ended up closing up and I think like a year or something went by and then I got them re-pierced so I got these ones pierced then um, maybe like two or three years ago after I'd gotten these ones pierced um, I got my second lobe piercing and um, that wasn't like bad I went to a different place I went to piercing pagoda it's just like a little stand in the mall and it was a lot better. I mean, I just think that they do a better job. Claire's just isn't my place to go to for piercings. I wouldn't recommend it, but I'm not saying there's anything bad about them. Um, just that I think other places are better. Um, so I got them both pierced, and honestly, low piercings, I feel like, are the things that are the least painful. Um, it was probably like a scale of like 1 to 10. It was a 1. So they're just not that painful. Um, they sting for a little bit. It's like when you get those like finger prick shot, um, shots and it stings for a little bit and then afterwards your ears feel like really hot but it's not that painful. Um, then after that, um, just like a little bit over a year ago, I got my belly button pierced. I'll show a clip of it like here I guess. And I'm not going to talk too much about it. I have a full video on that so if you want to know more about that then you can click the link down below but basically and the next thing I got pierced was my cartilage and I got it a little bit over six months ago I got it done in April um, of like last year and so it says that it takes nine to twelve months for it to fully heal so I guess I'm just kind of waiting for that I mean after three months my piercer said that I could change it but I just never did um, honestly I have a flat back piercing and I just can't get it off like it is impossible like I can't get it off I've looked up online and they say to unscrew the front part I've tried that a million times I can't get it off um, I've tried it with rubber gloves I've basically tried everything I've tried soaking it and trying to get it off and I just can't so I think I'm gonna have to go back to the place which is really annoying because they charge $15 to change your piercings like really I already paid $50 to get it done and yeah I got it done at a piercing place because where I live, the town that I live in, they, um, you can't get it done with a gun. It's actually, like, illegal. Like, they have, um, a law against it because it can damage the cartilage. I know a lot of people who've got it done with a gun and they're perfectly fine, but I got mine done with a needle. Um, it was more painful than an ear piercing. I mean, it's harder up there. Maybe, like, out of ten, like, a four or a five, maybe a six. So yeah, it wasn't that painful. I don't know how to change it though. It's really, really annoying. And um, basically all your piercings, you can either get like the saline solution. They have the ones from Claire's or you can do sea salt soaks. That's what I usually would do, um, especially for my belly button piercing. Not so much for up here. Um, my cartilage, I took a cotton ball and I s put it in a um, soak with like the water and salt the sea salt and then I just held it there for a few minutes 
and that was it and then I also used baby wash for all my piercings you can use them um, it's really convenient because you can just do it in the shower so that is basically it for all my piercings um, I have six of them I don't think I would get any more piercings if I ever did it would just be a third hole on my lobe but that is it and I don't even honestly think I need that I don't think I'll get it done maybe sometime but yeah, I think nose piercings look cute too, but I'd never get that done personally myself just because I already have my belly button pierced and I don't want like a million piercings. That's just my preference, but basically that is everything. If you have any more questions, leave them down below and I'll try and answer them. And obviously like I'm not a piercing or a professional, so like listen to your piercer when you get it done. But basically, yeah, that is my... All about my piercings, my experiences, my pain level. I will see you in my next video. Love you guys.